A busy day for a lot of people who work at the fair. Time to pack up and start thinking about next year. Kind of a bummer of a day, right? Yeah. Pack it up in the rain, but yeah. at least it wasn't during a day of doing business, right? Mm -hmm. This morning, we're going to go to the fair one last time. Exactly. The Lakeville man you're about to meet has had a booth at the fair for the last three years at the West End Market. But it's how Sean Carling takes us all back in time that makes him a Minnesotan to meet. Just a few steps away from the blue barn, that's where Sean Carling's fair booth, Machine Lamps, is perched. He calls the Great Minnesota Get Together a great place to meet and greet customers from across the state. It's exposure. We're local. We're Minnesota. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're based in Lakeville, Minnesota. After working in Best Buy stores and at headquarters for over 25 years, he decided it was finally time to trade in electronics for something a little more old school. I started this, I, I built one for my dad for Christmas one year. And uh, Best Buy, you know, offered an early retirement, and I accepted it. From there, he went to work, looking for pieces of treasure, a lot of times in the trash. You have to dig through a lot of junk to find good junk. Pretty soon, his collection began to grow, and so did his business. We started out doing this in our house, and uh, the first two years, we worked out of our garage. And uh, we had three stalls, and our garage was full of stuff. Now he has a large shop and showroom in Farmington, where you can find things like repurposed farming equipment. The gear on the bottom, it's the, the base out of an old John Deere tractor rear end. Or bright red fire hydrants that act as a base for his latest lamp. 1920s and then a, you got a, a steam gauge. It's a 14 inch solid brass steam gauge, compressed air. I mean, that's the cool part is if you only knew where that thing has been. It's probably, it could have been on a steam locomotive. We always tell people it could have been on the Titanic. But and sometimes finding those perfect pieces is a lot like finding a ship at the bottom of the ocean. But that's the hard part. It's just that people come through the booth and that's the first thing they always say is, where do you find this stuff? And it's, that's, I always tell people it's 95% of the battle is trying to find the good stuff. For Carling, the thrill of the hunt is what keeps him so engaged in the process. A gauge like this with the open middle with the writing on it, I mean, I, I can only find a couple of these a year. But, you know, some of the, the more common gauges like this. This is 1960s, probably 50s. This is more common. You can find these. But the ones that have this real cool writing on it, like this one here. This this one here is about 1895. To some, old plane, auto parts, and piping is just junk. To Carling, it lights up his latest creation. So he's shipped uh, to places like Australia, and he gets a lot of personal requests, and he says those are the toughest because he doesn't necessarily know exactly what people are talking about, so he's always kind of sketching it out, making sure that they're on the same page. And recently, he visited Northwest Paper Mill. That's in Brainerd. Uh, it's being turned into condo buildings. Oh, cool. So he went through and kind of went through some of the construction, took out some of the pipes, came back with an entire U-Haul full of stuff uh. that he'll be using to make some of his latest creations for the winter. I mean, they are striking, Beautiful. right? Yeah. You know, they have this kind of modern look yet. because Rustic a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because of the reclaimed material, yeah. I think. It, that's uh, really cool. Perfect for... Minnesota homes, you know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They are a little bit of ex expensive. So some of the li lights that you see right there aren't that bad, maybe 15 bucks. But some of the bigger products that he makes, especially the bigger lamps, can run right around $1,500. Sure. Well, it, it, it would be a statement piece yes. mm -hmm. for sure.